heard this even too often. Don't kind, you know. Our top story, a train has plowed into crowds at a religious festival in India. Scores of people have been killed. With just hours to go before Afghanistan's parliamentary elections, the assassination of a chief of police forces the vote to be postponed in Kandahar province. Police in Turkey are scouring a forest for the remains of the missing Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi. And she's simply at her bed. Tina Turner speaks to the BBC about overcoming the hardship in her life. I'm happier than I've ever been in my life. I'm happier than I ever thought that life would become for me. Hello, Rock. Hello. Uh, good evening, everybody. It's so good to see all of you here. So every Friday we have this uh, conversational English class and uh, I invite you to join me. And uh, in order to do that, please uh, provide your uh, Skype name. Um, just type uh, your Skype name in the chat box. And uh, then I will uh, connect with you uh, through Skype. So. Uh, I will tell everything um, in, in Russian just for everybody to understand what is going on. Uh, добрый вечер. Uh, вот уже на протяжении пяти лет, uh, каждую пятницу в семь вечера мы проводим uh, разговорные уроки, где вы можете тренировать свой uh, разговорный английский. Uh, для этого вам нужно uh, микрофон и лучше всего это соединить через Skype, но в крайнем случае через WhatsApp, но э, вы знаете, что э, в WhatsApp там нету конференц-связи, поэтому только один человек может быть. И, пожалуйста, мы здесь только разговариваем, э, пожалуйста, я жду э, ваши скайпы. Um, just uh, tell me first of all if you can hear me. Can can you hear me? Just give me any sign that you can hear me. Can you hear me fine? Hello. Okay. All right, Matthew. Good evening. It's so good to see you back. Okay, anybody else? So I have um, a person to start a conversation with. So. <laughs> Hello, Matthew. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, I'm okay. And you? I'm doing good, thank you. I'm doing very well. Now, what is new? Mm, there's nothing particularly new in uh, my life, but uh, But I, uh, I can say that uh, our uh, Russian teacher uh, went uh, to some uh, training for uh, some changes in EGE, okay. uh, Russian state exam. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, she told us about uh, these changes and we are not very happy as they uh, making it difficult, more difficult. The exam. Uh, you mean the Russian exam or the English exam? The Russian exam. Okay. And how about uh, English language? 
Uh, do they change yeah. anything in, in English? Uh, I uh, uh, I know I know nothing particular, but uh, I I've heard uh, no such thing of English because uh, English is the exam that. Uh, not such a great uh, number of uh, students uh, apply for. Okay, okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. All right, good. So um, this week um, we had uh, not very happy news. I mean, we had uh, sad news. Yeah. So um, if we talk a little bit about that, um, you know that I mean, about what happened uh, in uh, the Crimean city of uh, Kerch. So, uh, what do you think about that? Uh, I think it's um, I think it's terrible because uh, I just realized that I cannot feel safe at school because uh, there is no uh, nothing guarantees that you can be safe in such circumstances. Well, you know that I always, uh, I, I also work for uh, one of the schools uh, here. Uh, it's not for uh, for many um, classes, but still, I have to go three times a week. I have to go to this um, um, secondary school. Um, and you said that you do not feel safe. Um, what else? Um, maybe I feel a bit puzzled uh, what uh, can be done to a person uh, to behave in such a way. Okay, we'll talk about that a little bit later. I will uh, do some announcements and I will be back with you. Okay, um, ну как вы видите, все присутствующие, пожалуйста, у нас разговорный английский, присоединяйтесь к нам. Uh, пожалуйста, свой скайп и uh, будете uh, разговаривать вместе с нами. И uh, мы помогаем каждую неделю в пятницу всем тем, кто хочет усовершенствовать свой разговорный английский, uh, для того, чтобы подготовить вас к разговорной части uh, большинства экзаменов. И ЕГЭ, и FCE, и TOEFL, и IELTS, и так далее. Разговорный английский. Пожалуйста, для этого нужно ваш скайп или, в крайнем случае, WhatsApp. И тогда мы сможем с вами начать говорить с помощью вашего микрофона. Окей, Мэтью, я вернусь. И вернусь к этой новости из этой Крайминской города. Что вы думаете? Какие были причины для такого дезастра? Mm, I uh, I think that uh, much uh, detail uh, shows that uh, this uh, this uh, this student uh, was uh, maybe some kind of not very psychologically stable. I think, and uh, this fam uh, family wasn't very uh, uh, yeah. Okay. I don't. I can't find a word for this, uh -huh. but I'll try to. Um, Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I have some messages, so I, I, I will also answer to the messages. Mm, okay. It was some kind of troubled family. It was some kind of uh, some. Uh, psychic uh, disorder and uh, this caused it. Why do you think that this is a mental disorder? 
because I think no, uh, no, uh, no man without a mental disorder will uh, shoot myself so massively if uh, somebody offend, uh, offends him. Maybe, uh, you know, mm -hmm. if uh, this uh, if this man is aggressive, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, there was uh, many people who won't uh, had any relations with uh, him and did not offend him in any way, and uh, they uh, were hurt for no for no reason practically. They they said just. Okay. They have done nothing to him. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm not. Um, I'm not asking about the um, the what eventually happened. I was just uh, wondering. I had uh, several questions, and uh, I just want to see your perspective. What you think about that? Like, for example, you know that to buy this um, pump action shotgun and to buy all of this ammunition. Um, it's a pretty big sum of money and as as far as i know um the family like you said the troubled family um they were not a very wealthy uh family so that that means that i i don't understand how and you said that he was mentally unstable so how is it possible for a mentally unstable person to get this sum of money to buy uh, arms and ammunition? Uh, I don't, uh, I don't, didn't say uh, he's uh, completely mentally disabled, maybe uh, there's some kind of uh, hidden, maybe, some symptoms of uh, this uh, maybe it's not visible until some point and oh. uh, there is no uh, doubt that uh, uh, I think uh, it's probable that uh, he got money in some way but it's still a mystery in which uh, Exactly. I think the investigation will get answers to many of these questions. Yeah, maybe not all, but definitely, uh, definitely. I understand yeah. what you're saying, but I was just asking about your ideas because for me, um, as I said, I had a, um, after what happened, I had a couple of questions, and that was the the first big question for me: Where did he take this money? And uh, I, you know, for me to put together uh, these two facts, like you said, that he is mentally unstable, and at the very, uh, at the same very time, he's got lots of money to buy uh, ammunition. Um, I don't think so. Uh, that's that's only my humble opinion, of course. But uh, that, that is why I'm asking you. Okay. So I have another question. Uh, another question is about how about uh, the security in uh, your educational institution? Uh, you know that uh, you said that you, you do not feel secure, you do not feel safe going uh, to your school. So um, how about this security? Um, there uh, is a woman who sits uh, in front of the entrance to the school and uh, uh, and she has uh, no weapons of course and uh, in our school we have no uh, un uh, anti metal so to say uh, metal, uh, metal detector strings. yeah metal detector okay. metal detector mm -hmm. we have no kind of this we have no uh, maybe uh, some kind of uh, admission uh, system. Okay, um, you said like um, uh, maybe some kind of a turnpike, if you understand what I'm saying, turnpike. Uh, uh, write it please so I can uh, yeah, sure. see the, what, what it means exactly. Yep, definitely. Because I don't uh, really understand what you're talking about. Um, 
and uh, then uh, what you're saying is what what I can hear is probably uh, there should be some kind of a lock on the door and uh, every student should uh, have uh, some kind of electronic key or where yeah. yeah I I don't know I'm just asking you do you yeah, have just some electronic or not electronic or some maybe document that mm -hmm. uh, shows that the student is allowed this uh, this person is allowed to uh, be at school mm -hmm. at college or some uh, educational institution okay. how about the um, alarm button or alert button whatever they call it do you think that uh, uh, your um, institution has it uh, I think uh, it should have it have, uh, it should have it but uh, I really don't know okay yeah it should but it's yeah. not, uh, but it's, it's, All right. it's not clear All right and um, so you say you said that um, you have this uh, security lady um, and uh, this is at the, the front door to your secondary school. So uh, can you think of the back door? Do you have a back door to your school which might be open or something? Uh, yeah, uh, the, uh, there is back door mm -hmm. and there's no guard at it. It's sometimes open. Okay, okay, I understand. So again, I will just... Uh, um, address the people who are present maybe somebody will join us all right um еще раз напоминаю что вы присутствуете на разговорном английском где вам помогут к подготовке всевозможных экзаменов и егэ и IELTS и FCE и TOEFL тест к разговорной части. То есть мы здесь собираемся для того, чтобы говорить по-английски и обсуждать а, те вопросы, с которыми вы столкнетесь на экзамене на английском языке. Для этого вам нужно а, дать свой скайп, и мы постараемся с вами связаться, а, и вы сможете присоединиться к нашему разговору. Пожалуйста, а, пишите свой скайп или, а в крайнем случае, WhatsApp, и мы сможем um, начать с вами разговор. All right, so it, uh, it's been really uh, good uh, talking about that because um, you know that um, for me it's uh, really hard to, uh, to know, to learn about everything what happened. And uh, of course, um, I'm very sorry. Um, yeah, I'm, I regret everything which happened a lot uh, there. But um, just, uh, I, you know, as always, I use any opportunity to uh, make a talk and uh, to learn some new vocabulary. So how about the turnpike? Have you found uh, the meaning of this uh, word? Mm, I don't, uh, I didn't get how it is, it is spelled, so I... I, I typed it for you. Uh, so... Maybe... I misspelled something. Let me see. Um, the, I don't know. It's just like yeah. Um, so uh, it's in, in, uh, usually in Russian, this this is what we say. Okay, I will. Turn bike. Yeah, I will. I will turn just bike. type it so here. Um, yeah, I, I I typed you the translation. Uh, uh, something we call Tony Kit. Yes, right. Sorry yeah, I think uh, this uh, must be at schools and okay. any public places. Okay, so do you have it now? No. Okay, so you, you know that uh, the uh, new vocabulary for you from this part can be, um, as I said, uh, the turnpike, then um, the um, uh, alert button or uh, alarm button, then uh, what else we talked about, um, which was um, used, but we used a couple of uh, words for your vocabulary to remember. Okay, good. Now, uh, what I want you to do is, uh, first of all, uh, let's go back and uh, see if you remember. 
um, the, the previous time uh, we just uh, we stopped talking about that um, can, can you see the picture yeah I can see it so if you please uh, read the task uh, it's uh, exercise 4 his eyes and some paintings appear to follow the viewers around the room. How can you think artists achieve this illusion? When you have discussed it, turn to page 153 uh, for an explanation. So the question to you is, uh, well, maybe you know this illusion, right? Yeah, um, how I can know you, this. How, how can you explain this? Uh, I explain this in uh, such a way that uh, if uh, the printer placed, placed uh, something like called uh, wait a second yeah yeah sure uh, uh, pupil uh, yeah uh, if uh, if the painter uh, put a uh, pupil uh, in the middle of an eye, uh, there is an effect uh, as if uh, the sight uh, is following uh, you all over the hall. Okay. It's optical illusion that it's very wide, widespread mm -hmm. with painters. Okay. All right. Now we will read the explanation. So. Will you please uh, read it aloud? That's the explanation. Just read it aloud. Uh, the feeling that the painting is watching you can be both expressive, impressive and worrying. But illusion is not that hard to explain. Find a photo of someone looking directly into the camera. From any angle, the eyes will still look into the camera and still seem to sh stare at you. The image is two-dimensional. This means that if it appears to look at you from one angle, it will appear that way from every angle. The effect is achieved in the same way by painters. Uh, if an artist chooses to depict a person looking out at viewers, as he or she will paint the eyes if they are, as if they are gazing into the camera. The success of the illusion depends on the artist's skill in portraying the eyes that stare straight out. Okay, do you understand that? Yeah, it's pretty much the same, but from the opposite, uh, opposite uh, point. All right. Um we have uh, again a little bit of uh, vocabulary here um what i think is uh, i'm not very sure but maybe you know so from any angle what is angle angle is uh ugo. Mm -hmm. right um and uh, the image is two dimensional or dimensional uh -huh. absolutely yeah um, this means that if it appears to look at you from one angle, if it appears, uh, it will appear that way from every angle. Okay. This, yeah. This, yeah, that's something I, I think that you understand. I was just checking the word appear. The effect is achieved in the same way by painters. If an artist chooses to depict, you know the word depict? Uh, depict is a mm -hmm. A person looking at, um, looking out at viewers, a viewer. Now, uh, literally, mm -hmm. he or she will paint the eyes as if they were gazing into the camera, as if. The success of the illusion depends on the artist's skill in portraying eyes that stare straight out. Okay, good. So you know that uh, for uh, your picture description, it's a very good point because uh, um, as uh, you understood, that's possible for the uh, for, for you to find the picture 
where are uh, where where people are looking straight into the camera and then uh, you will have the same effect okay good we can move on so uh right now it's a speaking part one and uh, this is the fce exam but uh, anyway you know that any exam is just uh, like uh, you know EGE is uh, not a separate exam uh, absolutely uh, out of the world uh, that means that uh, they have uh, commonalities common com common things with the other other exams like um, with the uh, EGE or with uh, some other exams so the, the first part in speaking in FCE is just talking on some kind of, uh, you know, warming up, uh, helping you, uh, helping the person who takes an exam, who sees an exam to warm up. And uh, that means that uh, you will have a conversation uh, on everyday topics. And uh, if you can see, uh, the the list of possible part one topics it's uh, it can be anything like clothes uh, education family and friends uh, free time work so uh, for each of these topics think of two or three questions you might be asked so clothes what do you think what question might be asked here Mm, what kind of clothes do you prefer to wear? Mm -hmm, what else? Wearing? Uh -huh. um, uh, yeah. Do you like fashionable clothing or uh, pay no attention to this? Okay, and uh, education? Uh, do you accept school uniform or not? Okay, uh, another one? Education, uh, two at the very least two questions. You 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 can ask three if you want to, but uh, two is enough. So education is uh, uh, what uh, subjects uh, uh, Mm -hmm. uh, what subjects uh, do you think should be comprehensive? Comprehensive? Wow, okay. That's a big question and uh, I wouldn't say that I understand it, but that's okay. So family and friends? Family and friends? Just uh, uh, describe your uh, family. Mm -hmm. And another one? Uh, free time. No, 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 no. Uh, about family and friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah family and friends. Uh, uh, two, two questions, yeah. Uh, in what way uh, do you spend your time with friends, mm -hmm. if any? Okay, and then uh, free time? Uh, Uh, how, would you, how would you prefer to spend your free time? Do you have one? Mm -hmm. To spend your free time. Um, and uh, do you have one? Free time, do you have free time? Okay, and the last one, it's about work. Uh, what do you expect from your future job? Mm -hmm. Expect? Uh, 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 what do you think about uh, dream jobs and nightmare jobs? Dream job, uh, nightmare job, okay. Nightmare, all right. And uh, as you can understand, I didn't manage to write everything which you said, but uh, right now I will ask you these questions because it says work with a partner and take turns to ask and answer the questions you have thought of, okay. so. Uh, the first question is about your clothes. What kind of clothes do you prefer to wear or prefer wearing? Uh, I prefer uh, wearing maybe many kinds of clothes uh, and I 
don't really care about uh, this. I think clothes should be fit uh, for the weather and uh, should be also comfortable for the person. And I also think that they shouldn't be very powerful if there is not some special occasion like a party or something. Okay, um, I have. Uh, I, I think that we have a problem with the pronunciation, and you know that uh, during the exam, uh, you will be recorded, and so I uh, please uh, will you please pronounce very well. Well, well. No, no, again, very well. Very well. well. No, so you see, uh, as I as I thought, you, you we have this problem. So um if you if you can have a look at me i think that you, you can you can see me right yeah so just watch my lips the the first the first is very very and the second is well it's absolutely different sounds say it very well very well no very well again very very, very well I can hear the difference, but uh, how can I? Mm -hmm. we, uh, very well. So if you if you look at me, you can see that when I pronounce a V or F first, I usually tend to buy my lower lip first. Very. Say. First. Uh huh. Very. No, it's not very. It's very. Very. Yeah, that's now. It's it's okay. And when I pronounce W, I say it well, well, well. And now do it together. Very well. Very well. No, very, very, very well. Very well. Now it's okay. Now it's good. Okay. You have lots. You have lots of things. Um, for example, uh, okay. Let me. I remember another one. Um, okay. So, West Virginia. Uh, Say West Virginia. Yeah, West Virginia. West Virginia. Okay. Evil one. Evil one. Evil one. Evil one. Evil one. It's it's one one. One. Okay. Evil one. Evil one. Yeah, that's now it's better. Okay. So uh, say it again. Wearing. Wearing. Yeah, wearing. It's now it's much better. Okay. Good. Now the next uh, question uh, was: um, uh, Do you like fashionable clothes? Uh, I uh, that, that, that's I'm not very involved in fashion, mm -hmm. uh, and I really uh, don't recognize uh, whether uh, whether. Clothes are fashionable or not? Okay, very good. Um, just hold on. I will go back to the classroom and uh, see maybe if somebody wants to join us. Okay. Um, so, anybody, please, uh, if you want to join us, uh, Nuana, I can see that you are here. If you join us, if you want to join us, just give me a call. You know my Skype name. Um, so, and uh, for everybody, if, if you want to give me a call, uh, I mean through Skype, I will type it, I will type my Skype name. Just for everybody to know, if you want to join our conversation, please do. You can uh, Skype me anytime and uh, you will join the conversation. Okay, good. So. Our next question is, uh, uh, what's, uh, what do you think, is it uh, necessary or is it acceptable 
uh, to wear a school uniform or something that's what you asked and you know better what the question was? Personally, for me, uh, I think a school uniform is more than acceptable. It's convenient mm -hmm. for it's, pupils. It's, because, it's uh, convenient, convenient, not convenient, convenient. Convenient. Yes, right. Uh, for students, because you don't think, uh, don't have the uh, everyday puzzle of what to wear. Awesome. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, next question is: uh, um, What subjects do you think to be comprehensive, or something? And again, you know better what you wanted to ask. Uh, I think that uh, sub uh, subject uh, some subjects should be compulsory. For example, okay. Uh, so that's compulsory, not comprehensive. Okay. Ah. Uh, do you also, yeah. Yeah. Do you understand the difference between comprehensive and compulsory? So what is uh, comprehensive? Mm, I for this comp it's it's so uh, comprehensive compre comprehensive. Uh, Okay. Uh, it's a very slight difference. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, this is uh, comprehensive, and uh, then uh, uh, I think I miss some miss something. And this is compulsory. Ah, uh, yeah. So, I uh, if you just for you to remember. Com Comprehensive is your school is uh, uh, the the type of school is a comprehensive school. Yeah, okay. Yes, absolutely. You can use it like that. And and again, for you to remember the vocabulary, uh, you you should always have in mind the opposite uh, meanings and uh, the parallel meanings. So if you think of Great Britain, they have so-called grammar schools. They have so-called technical schools. They have so-called modern schools. So grammar schools are for the most advanced students. And the technical uh, schools are for those who are interested in engineering. Modern, modern schools are mostly comprehensive, uh, comprehensible. Uh, so the grammar schools, they tend to focus mostly on uh, humanities, arts, and uh, um, the, uh, the, the, the technical schools, they tend to uh, be focused mostly on uh, sciences. Um, and uh, uh, for comprehensible or comprehensive schools, uh, they tend to uh, give you the all-round education, okay? Yeah. So the, it's just for you to remember. And compulsory, you know, what is that? Uh, so uh, what subjects, uh, is the, I, I can understand you want to say should be compulsory? Compulsory, yeah. Okay, please. I'm sorry about this mismatch. Uh, this was uh, not a big deal. Open, uh, near each other and I just messed up this. Okay. I'm very really sorry if I puzzled you. No, 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 that's not a big deal. Absolutely. Uh, Everything is fine. And I think that uh, such subjects should be, uh, of, of course, maths, of course, uh, uh, your own language, of course, some foreign language, but uh, it, it, it can be debated. Uh, and uh, it should be some a uh, complex of uh, nature sciences such as physics, uh, biology, chemistry, but uh, I think that uh, not all of these sciences uh, are, need, uh, are needed uh, in life for the people in such a quantity that uh, they are taught. Okay. No. Maybe uh, it, it may be a good idea to uh, 
to summarize uh, physics, uh, chemistry, and maybe a bit of bi uh, maybe biology mm -hmm. in some subjects, nature studies or something, because uh, I don't think uh, much students, uh, many students, mm -hmm. uh, really need all this uh, uh, knowledge. Maybe somebody who are interested or can uh, are willing to connect their future job with. Uh, these particular subjects may uh, study uh, them uh, fully and in depth uh, as. Uh, okay. Yeah, I got you. I agree. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank so, you. So uh, I also think that uh, there are some uh, mostly uh, not useless but uh, not of much use subjects like art. Uh, Handicraft and maybe uh, music that are maybe the most uh, difficult for some students because uh, they uh, need some artistic, uh, some not artistic, not artistic, but uh, how to say uh, creative capabilities. Okay. That uh, not any, uh, not everyone possesses. Okay. Um, next question. Describe your family. Um, I uh, have uh, rather uh, a big family, but this depends on what uh, is meant uh, under family. Uh, if these are parents and uh, brothers and sisters, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I have yeah. a rather small family because mm -hmm. I have no siblings and I, ha uh, and I also, uh, I, uh, I'm only child in the family, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, uh, but if uh, if mentioning family as a uh, a bunch of relatives. Uh, my family is quite big, okay. and I think the uh, more, most people can say that this kind of the family is quite big. Okay. So uh, then you ask the question: In what way uh, you spend your time with friends and family? If you if you do. Uh, really, I spend time with my uh, mates. Not, not to say friends, uh, only at school and uh, just uh, talking in the intervals, in, uh, sometimes in the lessons, but uh, that's not so widespread. And uh, what about family? We sometimes uh, uh, watch TV together, we sometimes discuss something important, uh, we open uh, maybe spend time together, uh, relax together, and uh, that's basically all I wanted to say. Okay, uh, next uh, couple of questions are about your free time. So if you have, uh, like you asked, if you have uh, your free time, uh, how do you spend it? Uh, I have uh, not uh, much free time uh, because uh, I uh, I am trying to take my studies seriously, uh, and I so I have uh, not much free time, and I spend it uh, maybe surfing the internet, maybe reading some books if I come across uh, any interest one. Any interesting ones? Uh, can, you think, can you think of uh, uh, that's all. Can you think of the latest book you read? Uh, I can think uh, of uh, a book on uh, mm -hmm. a book on uh, countries of the world, okay. and. Uh, as I'm interested in history, it uh, also uh, the, the fact that interests me that this book was 
issued in uh, 1975, 1976 mm -hmm. to be more exact. Mm -hmm. And uh, see, this contains many countries and regimes that uh, do not exist now, and I uh, also, it's also was interesting to browse the uh, economical and uh, other statistics of this uh, part of uh, history. Mm -hmm. And I think for uh, my interest, it's quite uh, good. Yeah, but yeah. maybe others may find it boring. Uh, did you read it in English? No. Okay. Uh, how about English? Um, can you think of uh, the book in English which you read later? Mm, really, no. I don't uh, really buy uh, books in English because... Mm. Yeah, because? Because it's not very convenient, maybe uh, for some uh, studying reasons or uh, on the internet, I have to read English texts uh, and uh, maybe even some articles, and uh, that's quite good actually, but I don't uh, do this without a real purpose. Okay. Well, um, you know, the, maybe, it's, yeah. maybe it's not very good for my uh, learning, but I don't uh, do such activities. Well, I, I, I really recommend you uh, reading uh, some books in English. And uh, what I mean here is uh, that uh, if you want to learn something uh, really interesting in any area, like, uh, you know, I read uh, uh, the, the books in English about modern Russia. Uh, lots of writers from the West, they write uh, and uh, the, the books are becoming bestsellers. And I look through the list of bestsellers in uh, Great Britain and in the United States of America. And uh, after that, I, I ask my American and British friends uh, uh, whether this book is worth reading or not. And uh, most of them, they will definitely recommend me or not about any, any kinds of books. So the, uh, that's my interest. I, I like to read uh, what uh, other people think about modern Russia, about Russia nowadays. Or, uh, you know, you have uh, some other interests. And uh, I just uh, um, uh, I encourage you to find a really good book in English about your interest. Like you said, that you are interested in the history of the countries. Wow, that's uh, absolutely different uh, perspective. Uh, you will learn an absolutely different perspective on uh, this um, and on on this area uh, of your interest. Uh, I mean, uh, the history of uh, uh, of other countries uh, of the countries yeah. in the world. So please do it, or if you have any other interests, like, you know, if you are interested in computers, you can uh, read uh, the very the excellent books uh, about the computer codes, computer coding, or, um, you know, any, any, any walk of life, like we said, is, uh, can be, you, you can find a book which might be, oh, you can think of uh, some kind of entertainment books like uh, crime fiction or science fiction or fantasy books, whatever you want to, uh, might be very, very interesting. So please uh, do not rely upon only Russian um, authors, please try and find English ones, okay? Yeah. All right, uh, let me... Uh, yeah. Good piece of advice. Yeah, uh, that's well, what, I, what I've been doing all the time, so that is why I'm saying. So, and again, I will just uh, invite people if they want to. Еще раз желающих, пожалуйста, мы приглашаем, присоединяйтесь к нашему разговору для того, чтобы тренировать свои навыки разговорные для экзамена по говорению, разговорной части, speaking part для любого экзамена. Пожалуйста, 
давайте ваш скайп, и вы сможете присоединиться к нам. Окей, okay. uh, so next question from you was, uh, it's, it's about work. Uh, do you have uh, expectations about your future work or something like that? Mm, maybe. Yeah, yeah, you can correct. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can correct uh, because you really know uh, uh, where to work and uh, what kind of uh, practical trade I should take up. Uh, so I think uh, this uh, then this job uh, maybe uh, either uh, a bit interesting to me or uh, well paid or. Uh, at least one of these, uh, at least one of these uh, cases. Okay. So um, after school, after graduating from school, uh, what uh, uni university uh, do you think to enter to apply for? Uh, I don't. Really, uh, no, but I uh, maybe I want to apply uh, for uh, Euros uh, University. Maybe I should apply for uh, some other, but uh, the most uh, common opinion mm -hmm. now is that I should apply for the Euros University because. It's uh, quite uh, near to our town, and uh, it's uh, and it's not not so far to uh, go uh, there. And uh, okay, um, in what industry um, uh, do you think uh, you will choose a career? Uh, I uh, think I. May uh, choose a career in either history studies. In this case, I will be either a teacher of history or uh, work in the university itself uh, as a science. Uh, you know what? As a scientist. Uh, scientist. Yeah, scientist. Maybe, but it requires much effort. But if uh, the, the best uh, thing I uh, may uh, do, what period is this one of uh, list conditions? What I should say. What period I should? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, no, no, go ahead, please. I just. <laughs> what period of history are you most interested in? I'm interested maybe in 19th, 19th century most because it's the uh, period in uh, Russian and world history when uh, many uh, industry developed uh, and at the same time there was uh, no such uh, global conflict and uh, no such uh, ideological uh, conflicts uh, as in the 20th century 20th century what what, the, what what do you mean uh, global conflicts how about the uh, Napoleon wars uh, maybe it's not uh, purely global it's you it's all uh, it's all in Europe maybe okay. it's not really global it's kind of uh, not local exactly, but uh, most of the nations uh, on the globe just did not hear about it. About Napoleon? About wars at the time it happened. Okay. All right. Um, so uh, then the, the question was uh, the dream work and the nightmare work. Um, I think that uh, the dream work for me is uh, 
maybe some work that uh, involves my hobbies, my interests, maybe, uh, as I said before, maybe some scientific work, uh, job, or something like that. And as, uh, as for nightmare job, for me, it's uh, something connected with uh, hard physical work, but uh, because I don't think I am really able to do this for a long time, because um, we, I'm not yeah. very physically able. Uh, physically strong. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, we call it physical, hard physical labor. Yeah. Hard, hard physical, physical labor. Yeah. Hard labor, labor, yeah. Yeah, hard, phys uh, hard physical labor. Okay, thank you so much. It's been uh, such, uh, you know, encouraging discussion. And uh, right now, what I want you to do is, uh, if you can see exercise three, it's listen to two candidates doing a part one task. And does the examiner ask any of the questions you thought of? If so, which ones? Okay. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. All right. Uh, so let's let's start listening. I don't think that we'll finish this task, but uh, we can start. Um, and uh, first of all, I want to be sure that you, one. can you hear? Page seventeen. Yeah, I can hear. Exercise three. Okay. Good morning, it's Gail Evans, and this is my colleague John White. And your names are. My name is George Papas. My name is Adriana Caligaris. Can I have your mark sheets, please? Thank you. Where are you from, George? I am from Patras. It's a fairly large town in the southwest of Greece. And you? I'm from Granada. First, we'd like to know something about you. What do you enjoy doing in your spare time, George? I read quite a lot, but I'm also very keen on all kinds of sport. I play football, basketball and tennis, so sport takes most of my spare time. And Adriana? I like sport too. Do you play any sports? I used to play tennis. George! Who do you spend your spare time with? My teammates, if there is a match or a practice. I spend the rest of my spare time with college friends or my family. I have two brothers and a sister, and we all get on very well. Tell us something about one of your close friends. Okay. My best friend is called Anatol. We are in the same class at college, but we've been close friends since we were about 12. Actually, we have completely different characters. I'm sociable, whereas Anatol's rather shy, especially with people he doesn't know well. When I first met him, he seemed very unfriendly, but now we get on extremely well. Adriana, I'd like to ask you about your clothes. What kind of clothes do you feel most comfortable in? T-shirt, jeans and trainers. Are there occasions when you wear smart clothes? Yes, there are. When was the last time you wore smart clothes? Last weekend. George, do you ever wear smart clothes? Yes, sometimes. For example, for special family occasions like weddings and for interviews. But I prefer t-shirts and jeans, like Adriana. Thank you. Okay, um, you know, the time is uh, almost up, so that is why we will discuss uh, these questions uh, next class. And uh, so let me just go back to the classroom and uh, to say uh, for everybody thank you for uh, being present here for taking part in our discussion and if you want to write any comments any reviews about um, our classes so you can go to uh, you can go to my page which is called uh, uh,
Ljubljana Angliski or emphasized English. And uh, here you have odzive uh, my horokah. And uh, please feel free to write down whatever you want to about my classes. So that's it for today. And uh, thank you so much for uh, joining us. And uh, Matthew, thank you for such an interesting discussion. Uh, that's that, that's it. For listening. Yeah, if uh, you have any comments, any ideas, any protests, uh, you are very welcome. Please. No such comments. Okay. So that's Thanks. then. Then uh, it's bye for now, and hopefully I will see you next next Friday. And have a good uh, weekend. Uh, thanks. Uh, goodbye. Have a good.